Hey everyone, it's Dylan with CT Aquatics, and today we're at one of my favorite local fish stores, Aquatic Wildlife in South Windsor, Connecticut, and today we're gonna take you on a tour inside. All right, follow me. All right, so now we're on the inside, and this is the owner of the store, Derek. So welcome to Aquatic Wildlife. We're gonna be 18 years old uh, this August, and we're, we're really a one-stop shop for anything and everything aquatic. And this store is arranged by everything over here, decorative, spiderwood, rock, live rock, dragonstone, mountain stone, mopani wood, gravel, is all over here. And that side of the store is everything functional, whether it be filtration, chemical media, additive supplements and whatnot. And then the left-hand side of the store is fresh water, which includes ornamental goldfish, uh, pondfish, koi, discus, geophagus, South American, Central American cichlids, live bearers, tetras and bobs. And over here is all salt water, along with corals. On the other side with the fresh water is also live plants. So it's really easy to find what you need. It's organized, it's segmented nicely. And when you walk in, you can see everything that we have. I have a great relationship with Derek, the owner at Aquatic Wildlife. Having a good relationship with somebody at a local fish store is important because they can quickly help you to solve any issues that you have in your tank if anything is to go wrong. It's also good to have somebody like this because in case you need anything new or you're trying to expand your tank, you can get the products that you need and they'll take care of you. And you'll get better customer service than if you were to order the products online. Building the relationship with somebody at a local fish store is important because it gives you the trust that you need in order to know that your tank is going to thrive and do well in the future. All right, so now I'm gonna show you around the store and show you some of my favorite products here that you can use to help upkeep your fish tanks. All right, so we're gonna start in the saltwater section, considering that's the area that I like to focus on most. So Aquatic Wildlife is a tank reseller, so that means that you can get your fish tank, fish, and coral all here. Um, one of the tanks that I like that they sell are the Red Sea tanks. Uh, they come with the tank, the light, protein skimmers, auto top-offs, pretty much everything that you need to start. You can also get it with a cabinet. Underneath the cabinet, they come with power strips already installed, and room for a sump or anything else that you would want to add underneath. It does have a sump built into the back as well, so you don't necessarily need to add a sump. Um, they've got all the different sizes. They also have other tank brands such as Marineland, Aquion, Aquatop, and Fluval um, that you can use to start your first reef aquarium. What I like about the Red Sea tanks is one, the quality of the glass. They also use reinforced corners on a lot of them, which you can see right here. Uh, there's an extra piece of glass that's glued into the corner uh, that helps to reinforce it. They also have their own ecosystem where they basically have every product that you need built into one, as well as controllers and other things that you can add in the future. And it just creates one nice cohesive setup. So at the front of the store, we have some nano tanks. A nano tank is just a really small fish tank, basically. Uh, you can put less fish in there than a bigger tank. You can do less with it, but it's also something that can generally fit on a desk or countertop. Uh, so here on display, we have a few of the Fluval tanks. This one here is the Fluval Evo 13.6 gallon, and it's just housing a clownfish and some other smaller stuff like shrimp and hermit crabs. On the back of the tank, it has built-in filtration. These tanks also come with reef lights that you can control different color spectrums if you'd like. For coral growth, you'd probably just want it on. This is the reef light, but for nighttime, you could change it to the blue, which gives the coral a nice glow. As an add-on, you can also add a protein skimmer if needed. And then this tank right here, it's very similar to the these first two, uh, but it's the five gallon Evo. It's also made by Fluval. All right, so here we have the frag tanks at the store. So they keep pretty much 99.9% .9 aquaculture specimen in their tanks, which means that they were created in captivity or split in captivity. For coral, everything eventually came from the ocean, but then as it starts to grow, 
and expand, you, the cuttings were grown in captivity. So, um, so the tanks are split up pretty nicely. So in this tank, we have our soft corals. Then we have our LPS coral. And on the other side over there, we have SPS coral. Uh, this tank over here, there are anemones and a bunch of other miscellaneous type type things. So you can see the there's anemones here, there. So on the back wall here, on this side of the store, we have all of the saltwater fish. So these systems are attached going down. So it is a 75 gallon tank, a 75 gallon tank, and a 75 gallon sump, and that creates one system. The tanks are divided, so these are, this is a 75 gallon that's split in half, and this is a 75 gallon and it's split into three, just to create dividers for all the fish. And that's how each system is set up, all 75 gallon tanks. Uh, each system is 225 gallons total. Going to this side of the store, uh, they also have a lot of freshwater stuff. Now, I personally don't do freshwater anymore. I used to, but I don't have any tanks set up. So I'm not gonna spend as much time on this stuff, uh, but we'll still show you what they have. They have a absolutely massive quantity of plants that you can select from if you're into planted tanks. And then throughout this whole side of the store, we have a very large assortment of the freshwater fish. So now we're gonna look at some of the products that they sell here that I think are vital to a saltwater system. So to start, they sell many different forms of ceramic media. This is one of the ones that I like to use, the Marine Pure Blocks. Uh, they also sell them in various different shapes, such as balls. They also sell these, they're kind of like, they call them gems. And they have this one, which I'm not sure what the shape is. They call it pods, but it's kind of a blob shape. Um, the purpose of ceramic media is to help create a housing place for beneficial bacteria to build up and grow so that it can break down excess, excess nutrients into from ammonia into nitrites and nitrites into nitrates. So yeah, there are other brands of the ceramic media. For example, there's the Seachem Matrix. Uh, there's also one over here from Fluval. All of them are great options, uh, especially if you're starting out a new tank, it's great to put ceramic media in. So another product to highlight that I kind of like, and we don't have any of these, it is the eShops Deskmate. This is a very, very small nano tank. Uh, perfect for maybe a pair of clowns or even smaller fish. Um, it just looks really nice. It kind of glows once you put the reef lights on. Um, and it's a great starter tank for anybody who's looking for something really small. Coming to this aisle on the store, first we'll actually start looking right here. We have a bunch of stuff for uh, reef aquariums such as coral dip, which we use quite often whenever we get a new coral or we want to quarantine or move a coral, we usually dip it. We've got coral glue for helping to fix coral into place. Um, this is also where we get our frag plugs and they also have some other stuff such as carbon and coral foods. As we move further back, we have all of our test kits. So we have, it's divided by brand on each side. Right here we have uh, Red Sea, which they have both the dosing components and the test kits for pretty much any mineral that you would want to test for in your reef tank. And on this side, we have the API, which these tests generally aren't gonna be as accurate as something like your Red Sea, but they're really good for testing, such as for your ammonia and nitrite to make sure that you've completed your cycle in the tank. So I do use these as well, primarily the Saltwater Master test kit. Uh, moving further along, we also have our Salifert test kits, which we do use as well, um, particularly the magnesium one, which they have right here. Up here we have other additives. Um, so we have the Alpha Reef that we've, from Tropic Marin that we've been testing as a dosing agent. Um, they've also got all of the, the whole Aqua Vitro line, which we've, I've personally only used the seed, which is a great beneficial bacteria to help start your tank, or as the name suggests, to seed your tank. 
Um, they also carry a wide variety of salts. So on this side, we have a wide variety of foods from Hikari. And then as we come around the corner, we have a whole lot more food and some other additives. The additives that we like to use are Waste Away. It helps to get rid of any sludge. It helps to get rid of diatoms, dinos, and cyanobacteria in the reef tank. They also have it for freshwater tanks, which does the same thing, helps to clean up the tank. One and only from Dr. Tim's is a great beneficial bacteria to add when starting a new reef tank. This is where I come to get any of any of the medications that I may need for fish, such as copper. So this is a product from the company Easy Life. Uh, it's called Filter Medium, and it is a water conditioner and tonic, and it also can help fish with tons and tons of different things. Um, this is for freshwater tanks specifically, uh, but it can also be used in saltwater aquariums. I'm not sure if it's reef safe. It does not say specifically that it's reef safe. Um, but it can be used as a water conditioner when you're putting chlorinated water in a tank, but it can also be used to help with stress on fish and with tons of different ailments in your reef tank, such as clearing water. This is highly recommended. I've not personally used it, but I have seen it in action and it is a great product. Um, this is not carried widely. This whole product line is only carried here locally. All right, so this concludes our tour of aquatic wildlife. Again, this is one of my favorite local fish stores to come and just geek out and get as much stuff out of it as I can. I love to come and look at all of the products that they have and all of the fish that they constantly have coming in. Thanks for joining us. And if you like what you saw, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications to join us on our journey through the sea.